I'm Joelle and you're watching Fluffy Kawaii Show and today I would like to do a video that is kind of the behind the scene of what happened in the Misako Aoki interview because I got a lot of questions about it. I got to interview Misako Aoki as she came in Switzerland about a month ago and so many people ask me how I did the interview because I was asking the questions in English and she was answering in Japanese so this is how we went first of all a big thank you to Neisha my friend who translated everything so here's what happened I contacted Misako by email in English I wrote her an email saying that I uh, saw so that she was in Switzerland and if she was interested in meeting and maybe getting interviewed. And she answered something really short in English. Uh, Thank you, yes, we can meet, but I don't speak very much English. So I thought that I'd write the rest to her in Japanese. So I asked my friend Neisha to translate everything and she um, translated every email that I wanted to write to uh, Misako and every answer that I got in Japanese from Misako she uh, in, uh, translated in French again so I could understand what she said so it went like this maybe we exchanged about five six seven emails something like that so she had agreed to the interview and I had asked all my friends and people in the local community what they wanted me to ask her. So I had a list of questions in English and I asked Neisha to translate that in Japanese and I sent that to uh, Misako. So Misako knew the questions in advance and she had a translation in Japanese. And so what I did is that I filmed on my phone and then I had the question on somebody else's phone <laughs> because they were on my phone, but I forgot that I had to use my phone to film. Anyways, so I looked at the questions in English in the same order that I had sent her. So I read the question in English on my list and Misako read the same question in Japanese. And in front of us, we had somebody else that was also speaking Japanese on the day. And for some part of the interview, I think her boyfriend was also here somewhere in the cafe. A bit further and so we were sitting her and me here on the couch in front of us there was another person speaking English and the boyfriend was about here and so I kept asking the questions in English and she read the questions in Japanese and so if we were for some reason um, not aligned which did not happen we had somebody in front of us who could tell no 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 it's not the right question and or or anything and anyways what i did in the editing is that i cut out all the big part of us looking at the phone or waiting on what we could uh, answer so basically she is reading out loud but maybe not very um understandable the question in japanese and so now what I did is, as I had the Japanese questions already written, I put the subtitles in Japanese so people uh, speaking Japanese can understand what she said. Of course, you can click here and watch the video if you haven't seen it yet. And so in the English version, there is a translation when she answers in Japanese. Then Neisha translated that to me later, um, what she said, and I put that in the video, English video, so you don't have to use the subtitles. So if somebody speaking Japanese wants to watch the video, they can just put the Japanese subtitles and I have subtitles of the questions that I have asked and the answers from Misako are already in Japanese, so that's uh, that's easy. That was it. There was just a quick explanation of how we did the interview. I hope that it answered some of your questions and I want to thank Neisha and the person who was with us at the tea party with Misako who translated everything for us that was super nice so thank you very much and if you like that video don't forget to like and subscribe and go watch my other videos because I do a lot of Lolita videos so thank you for watching see you soon bye, -bye.